would you like? Which one would you like to do first? We can do both. I'd like to know right now what's in here. Okay. How big of a square yard each? Yep. Would now, that? what I would kind of preamble that with is, I think we're looking at probably most of the production that we're going to get. Oh yeah. For the year. Oh yeah. You know, we're not going to get a whole. We may get a little bit more green up and some more on the blue grant, but not a whole lot more. So kind of what we see is what we get. So it'd be your inventory for the winter too, right? So somebody, uh, I'm happy to do the math. And I will go through each step of the math out loud so we can all follow along, hopefully. It's a mistake I often make is not doing that. Uh, who's got a yard pace? From yeah, Josh does. Josh? Yeah. Okay, so for me, Byron, I paced yesterday, you can pace today. I need to go right angles from me. From me. Go up the hill and I'll go. From me. Do I need to step off? Yes, you need to step off. Actually, Why I'm don't you go stop? This way, so I don't hit the pickups when oh, okay. you go that way. You go that way around. Yeah. That makes, is that okay? And why don't you stop at 10? comfortable with that answer. No. no. All of us do, and if there's any no, you go you back keep further. going. Okay. Let's go five more. Wait a minute. Is that enough to feed a 1,200-pound cow? And calf for a, day. for a day and leave about half. You feel good about that. Others don't. So how many pounds would we need to get yeah, picture that. I have. Take a small square bale, you know, cut the strings, fluff the thing up, take half of that, 30 pounds. You know, if you could gather that much up of dry matter off this and still leave half. Would it be enough? I don't think so. so until everybody says yes, you and I got to go here, so let's go half, five more. You can't get half a bale off of it. I think so. And if you thought we could, that's, that's good to know because that's. Leave half of it? I think it? you're stuck in the SCS conservative mode. <laughs> leave half of it? I don't think you leave half. We're leaving half for plant litter, half feed it? the ground. Okay, how about now? You're you're obviously comfortable. Yeah. I, I've i never felt comfortable doing this. I like doing some clipping and Okay, and like many that. people are for like that. Reason, I can't wrap my mind around this. Okay. They just treat it to dip as one more tool in your toolbox of a way to set ground. And the, the reason you're not comfortable with it is because every time you move the cows before, you never went and calculated it out. Because if you had done that, you would be very comfortable with it. It came along after, <laughs> after the fact, but you can still learn it real easily. When the easy way to learn it is every time the animals are moved, you say, I had so many animals for so many days on so many acres, and you calculate it out, and then you know, not it's not a guess anymore, it is what they actually did, and left X amount. So that's how I've gotten more experienced at it, and, and how I recommend that others that want to use this as a tool, if you don't, and you're more familiar with clipping, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's very accurate. Most people just don't do it. So you're so. looking at a 30 pound bale of air dried hay. Hey. Yeah, not. So you could take this 15 square here we've got. Yeah. And you could actually come in here and hay half of it. That's your take half and leave half. There you go. Then you yeah. could bail that sucker up, and if you got a bale out of it, that was. Well, I'm talking about material that is going to be give you the performance that you want on your cattle. Yeah. So ignore, uh, ignore et cetera. all these tall steed heads. They're not going to add much in there. Yeah, not much weight. You're after the leaf and the. They're not going to eat several of these things, the yucca and that kind of thing. So you're, you're trying to take all this into account. And the reason that we do this at all, and Chip is exactly right, it is not as accurate as clipping and weighing. What if your, your circle fell right there on that clump of sage or in the middle of the yucca? 
and that was your sample. Well, that's not represent. So, you know, we, we have to, you can do this fairly easily if you practice it and get good at it and do the actual rather than just guessing. Could we not put a pair in a little fence like this for a day with a little bucket of water and see what's left at the end of the day if, if you want to get good at this because it is such a simple tool. I don't need clipping and I don't need weighing and I don't need this that's if I'm key. good at accuracy. That's the key to me. Um, yeah. I could go out. Your explanation of how uh, of doing this and putting the cattle in and taking them out and, and, and figuring it that way, that, that helps me a lot right there. Okay. Uh, figuring the whole span of days and the number of cattle. Okay, that I, I'm starting to understand because all I could before was just see this, but, but when you extrapolated over in the number of cows. Now it starts making sense to me. And what we'll do immediately after we do this is we will calculate based on our guess or whatever you know about how many head were here for how long and the size of this particular area. So we'll do that next and that'll be the actual figure and then but that's been another 30 days of growth beyond that or whatever. We'll just we'll do both. So we're all comfortable with this. Some might feel comfortable we could come back a bit. Yeah, I was but, gonna say, yeah, but take the conservative figure. Okay, so conservatively, uh, now Julie, you, you feel better about this? Or? Okay, so we're at 15 times 15, right? 15 times 15 is 225 square yards to feed a pair for a day. Leave about half, getting about. Now a pair like that at 1,200 pounds is not going to be, it's going to be at least 30 pounds of air dry material that we're going to take off that. Okay? So, uh, we, can you, hey, Kurt? You, want to stay here? Yo, you can stay, come back in. You know, as, you, as you learn the picture though, one thing to always keep in mind is every step that we took out is a geometric progression. It's yes, it's much larger. That, yeah, I was going to ask back. about that figure, both, both of our stocks and what the difference is between them. Right. Because yeah. it's, it's It'll be a huge difference. difference. And I'll, I'll give you both numbers. But the, once you have that, um, so I take Hello. the square yards in an acre, right? Yeah. Which is 70 by 70, 4,840 square yards. Why are we using the yards, not feet? Because it's easy to walk. It's a lot easier to walk than it is to this. And, you, know, you can figure your pace pretty quick. So 4,840 square yards per acre divided by 225 square yards per animal day of feed. Because that's the box we just drew. That's the box we just drew. How many of those boxes are in an acre oh, is the next question. Is the next question, and it's approximately 21 and a half. Animal days per acre. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, animal days in, in an acre. Okay. So there was 21 of those size boxes in an acre. Okay. So the, and that, that makes you realize, well, I just did 15. Uh, 15 into 70 isn't 21, right? Yeah, you lost us there. Okay, just I was saying, if just hard when you were talking about ge geometrically, oh, yes. right? Yeah. So if, if, a, if an acre is 70, and I just did 15, you right, know, that's it's, a only a, it it's, it's almost a quarter of it, but I said there's 21 of these, it's because they're squared, right? So there's 21 of these in an acre. How many acres have I got in this part of the pasture? Well, you know, you almost have to look at this a little bit separately, but let's say it was fenced out, the, the old field was fenced out, and that they were here for whatever, you know. Or, or in reality, next time they come in here, it's not fenced, how many acres will they have? What, what is this half of the two paddocks? I mean, well, you, you, actually, that's 200 acres. Yes. Oh, we're over here, though, aren't we? Yeah, we're about right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. This this is probably what 200 acres total. Right. Yeah. Let's use what that is. Okay. So let's let's say it's all fairly oh, uniform, right. whatever. It's probably not, but let's we say it is. We would do it in two or three places to double check. Right. So, right. right. so 21. Well, and I usually round round down, yeah. but let's say 21.5. I'm sure that times 200. 
right? Where there acres. Acres. Is uh, 4,302 animal days of grazing to leave about half, which is not going to be exactly, it's going to be lower because more of the. the It'll be low and high because you don't have the right. density to yeah. get an even grade. So if we had 4,302 animals, how long could we stay here? Pretty close. One day. One day. If we have 50, and how many will we have? Animal units, you know, you can go there. There's down. 20, yeah, 27. 27. Yep, so 160 days. Yeah, that's standing. Back up a second. How do oh. you get that? Okay. I'm just uh, trying to stay with you here. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. 4,302 so, animal days of grazing. Okay, 4302. Okay. Get mine. Yeah. Animal days of feed. Divided by number of animals, animals we'll <coughs> how many days me. of feed that we have. Twenty-seven oh, okay. animals? Yeah, I think it was divided by twenty-seven. That's what we used, yeah. It's a hundred and six fifty-nine. Uh, so if you had the availability uh, to water and shelter through the winter, those uh, animals could essentially mean, stay uh, in this paddock. Go with you or over something? Winter or? with one open paddock in oh. this two hundred acres for oh. the winter or for five months. Boy. My brother and sister are here. Like you can actually have better improvement if you parcel out in the winter, too. Now, it's a different will there be story. adequate protein and, and those kinds That's of things? That's a whole different story. Prior. Just That's to estimate what's here. Right. Yeah, yeah, how many selections you're taking in the winter. But poundage, they would be enough to fill the bellies. Maybe him and Based on effort. Now. If we had said it was 10 by 10, okay, let's do that math quickly, 10 by 10. Because that was our first stop. Was right? our, it was 100 square yards. So I can do the, that math in my head. Okay. 100 into 4840 is what? Yep, 484 square yards. Well, it, it, it's saying there's 48 of those in an acre. Right. Not 21. Yeah. Yeah, so 48 animal days per acre. Is a lot different. So yeah. in your head, by 200 acres, you know you're at 8,000. So going from 10. Oh, uh, you got to slow down again. <laughs> yeah. good, good point. When you, get 8, you, did it, you did it in your head. We just came out with that there were 48 of those squares in an acre at the 10. The 10 by 10. Uh, times 200 acres. It's going to be over 8,000 animal days. Is that correct? I'll do it. So, yeah, 48 states, times 200 acres. Double. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the point. So, when you get out there estimating, you know, you may come back a step or two or go out a step or two, and you're it making makes a, big a, a big difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah, so if you're, you're not sure there's enough feet, take one more step, not five more steps every time yeah. as it gets out there. But I, I, I would probably not feel have felt comfortable until around 15. No. So, and, and do the conservative end because you don't want to be overstuffed. You're essentially, right. you're doing, you're not doing anything with stock density. It's all stock rate. All rate. What's going to happen? It's going to disappear little by little. If we're up here for 160 days, so from the water on, it's going to be less and less and less quality. And then that. Anyway, so 9,600 animal days of feed divided by 27 head. We're saying there's enough for an entire year. So that's why we weren't comfortable with a 10 by 10, most of us. But might have could push it. Good but what we're missing in that comment is we were looking at it as this is what there is now, and that's all there will that's be. That's all there will to be. To carry us, say, through a summer that's dormant or through a winter that's dormant. The piece we're missing is that the regrowth, mm -hmm. that if we can get a one regrowth or a one and a half regrowth through the summer, that, because we're timing, would be more than if we're continuous graze, would be some regrowth, but not as much as some of the rest.